Working with Ferrera on the valve train, we were able to develop um, valves for the J-Series engine. We did the 6000 series and their Competition Plus series. And in each one of those, we've done a 35 millimeter for the intake, a 36 millimeter, and a 37 millimeter. Depending on which J-Series engine you have, some of them have a 35 millimeter intake factory and some have a 36 from factory. So we pretty much have the two standard sizes. So in some cars, it'd be a plus one, but we also stepped it up a notch and it came out with a 37 millimeter. And on the exhaust side, we did a 30 millimeter and a 31 millimeter. So we also have standard size and a plus one. One reason you're gonna to wanna to increase um, your valve size is we're able to cut into the seat a little better. We have bronze seats for the J-Series heads now and we're able to do a better valve job when we cut into the seat for a bigger valve. So with the Ferrera valves, we were able to make the actual overall length of the valve a little bit longer, which is going to correct the geometry issues when you put a big camshaft in these engines. Even if you put a camshaft with a stock valve, you have an issue where your roller rocker starts to be off and not placed on the valve tip properly. So we were able to create the valves in a longer length and also Ferrer went ahead and put an undercut on the valve. So that's right at the tip of the valve where the air enters into the cylinder. We actually step it down a little bit to allow more air to enter into the chamber as it passes by the valve. Working with Trom on the J-Series, we were able to make pistons in pretty much anything you're looking to get. From 89 millimeter all the way up to 90 millimeter, we have low compression, uh, high compression, uh, they offer a range of coatings for the side of the piston. They even offer a top coating to help with the combustion chamber temperatures. When going with a plus two valve, you're definitely gonna wanna get a matching piston. And the Trom piston is gonna be, you know, spot on for you. We have those on the shelf here, and we also get them custom made for you. We pretty much have a collection of all the J-Series cylinder heads here at this point. We've developed the CNC program for each and every J-Series head. We can start from the 1998 Accord 3, J30 engine, all the way up to the 2020 Acura TLX direct injection head. We have CNC programs for all of the J-Series at this point. Across that board, there's a lot of different variations in the heads. We have a three-port exhaust, we have a monoport exhaust. Some people think there's only one monoport exhaust, but there's actually two variations of it. We have a small port and a big port. And in there, we also have different combustion chambers. We have small combustion chamber, big combustion chamber. We have the CNC program for each and every one of them. So it doesn't matter which J-Series engine you have, we're gonna be able to maximize the gains on that engine. There are some benefits from some heads over others, and we have all of that data now. So if you're looking to build a race car or even a street car, give us a call, contact us, We'll work together with you on making sure you have the best head package available for your car. The full valve train from Ferrera, springs, retainers, valves, seats, locators, is all taken care of now. We're working with some of the top cam manufacturers in the industry on billet camshafts. They're not quite available yet, but they will be here in the near future. So when these uh, billet cams finally do come out here, they're gonna be well tested and proper. A lot of the camshafts that are on the market now of the regrinds have not been working out too well, and that's actually gonna be fixed here. The camshafts have been the weakest point of the J-Series engine. When the camshafts come out here soon, it's gonna really pick up the gains. Now, the good part about our cylinder head program, we didn't focus on just the power of when the camshafts are released. Uh, we have seen gains throughout all the lift points on the cylinder heads. We first started by testing the flow numbers only within the range of the stock camshafts. We were testing between 100 lift to about 400 lift, and we have gains of CFM across the whole board. So even if you were to put our heads with a stock camshaft, you will see the gains. Now, when the billet camshafts that we're working on with some of the top cam manufacturers, when those release, the gains will continue to get better because as we get higher in the lift, we're seeing even more airflow over stock. In some cases, we're getting to 25% more flow than stock. So the monoport heads had brought some of their own challenges in itself. Trying to reach all the way in there to port was quite a task. We had to order new tooling um, to be able to get a deeper reach inside of the cylinder head. Uh, a lot of time spent digitizing and probing to see um, how far we can get in. 
We even went as far as cutting open a couple cylinder heads to see how much room there is there to know how far we can actually take the port, port and program. When um, the machine is in there, I mean, you can't see what it's doing in there. So we had to figure out the exact limitations of the head to know how far we can push it without actually going too far, but also making sure we go far enough to give you the gains that we're looking to achieve. I think on the monoport heads is a true example of sh to, that will show why CNC porting has its advantages. Because when you're porting a monoport head, you can't see inside of there. So there's no way for that particular head that somebody can port that by hand and do a great job at it. Um, whereas the CNC port, we've, since we've already found all the positions and the locations, when it goes in there to port, it's gonna reach all the spots that are almost invisible to the eye to see. We have the Ferrera Bronze Guides, and when we're installing the guides, they, the guides are actually put in liquid nitrogen, which will help shrink them a little bit, and the heads are put into an oven. When the heads have reached the optimal temperature, they're pulled out, and the guides are then pressed into the cylinder heads. And once they're put in, they will not come out. When we're installing the valve guides here, we're not just pressing in the guides. We're actually putting a bull nose on the guides as well to help increase the flow. Um, so when you look at the guide, you'll see a nice smooth taper on it right at the base. That every, we're going every step to try to increase flow as much as we can. From the guides, to the way we cut the seats, to the way the valve heads are designed, we've went through every length to try to maximize the flow as much as we can. Hey guys, Richard from P2R. Just wanted to take a minute to uh, talk to you about these uh, CNC ported heads we have available now. We put in countless hours of testing, a flow bench, testing, cutting, pretty much everything needed to maximize the uh, gains that we want to bring to you. So we're, we're working with the uh, one of the best uh, CNC head porting facilities available. So far, we've gained about 25% over factory with the uh, stock cam profile. We're now offering uh, heads uh, for just about every J-Series engine. Pretty much anything you can think of, we can offer it. From valve train, we've got custom cams coming just to maximize uh, the benefit from the heads. So working with the extreme cylinder heads for the, the CNC port jobs, we've had countless hours put in, uh, putting them on the machine, cutting them down, taking them off, put them on the flow bench, um, just testing over and over and over, basically trying to reach the limit. Um, we've come down to the point where we've even cut some heads in half to see what the limit is. We really don't know what the limit is until we see what the, the restrictions are behind it. So by doing this, we are able to increase the flow of the heads up to about 25% on some applications. So uh, teaming up with Ferrero, we were able to bring some uh, custom parts to the J-Series community where uh, they've never been offered before. Um, the factory engines take 35 and 36 millimeter valves. Um, we, we have custom parts now where we're able to go two millimeters over. We've got 37 millimeter valves and seats available for those now so that we can, it, like, you know, the whole purpose is to maximize the gains. So we've got a couple cars coming out, uh, a couple new cars coming out that we're gonna be testing some new motor combinations in. Um, the heads responded very well on our stock block uh, TL and it put out some numbers that we're, we're still impressed with. Um, we've got more changes since then where it's gonna be making more power and we're gonna start messing with the block on the newer car to add compression to see what kind of difference we can get in that. All right, so uh, we have basically brought out almost everything needed for the heads. Um, we've got the CNC ported heads, the full valve train, um, springs, retainers, um, custom valves, flat face valves. The only thing we're, we feel like we were really missing is the cams. Uh, so we're currently working with the, uh, leading, some of the leading cam manufacturers to bring out a billet cam that we can custom spec to any need. So basically, we're gonna be able to improve the flow on the heads with uh, the higher lift. We're gonna be able to rev out the motors a little bit more with, with longer duration. And with added with the springs, um, we should be able to rev out and make power all the way to 8,000, 10,000 RPM. 
So with, with the billet cam options we're gonna have, we're gonna have off the shelf options to work with your setup. Um, it's gonna be a complete kit from start to go where you can buy head, you can buy the cams and the valve train and make guaranteed power. So our goal in bringing you these head packages is to take uh, a motor that's uh, been neglected for years and bring it to a level where it can be competitive at any race you go to. Uh, whether it be on the streets, um, at the drag track, uh, on the local uh, road track uh, or autocross, uh, we're trying to give you the power that's gonna put you above the competition.